I-212. I've been removed from the United States. Can I reapply? I-212 application to seek consent, okay? Permission to reapply, especially if you've been removed under this section, okay? Immigration Nationality Act Section 212A9AI. We are going to be focusing on the section, okay? And usually when some somebody gets removed, they get uh, probably banned for five years, 10 years, 20 years. And that's a long time to wait. The question becomes, can I reapply? Can I seek permission, okay, to get admitted again in the US? Uh, my friend, you have to go with the matter of teen and matter of least standards. Those are the standards that if you meet those requirements, uh, we can try because it is a discretionary measure, but at least if you meet some of those requirements, we can show and uh, basically argue for you and hopefully uh, the attorney general will really exercise uh, discretion on your favor, okay? That's the goal here. Well, number one, they're gonna look at the recency of the removal or deportation. Let's say you've been removed this year, Okay, January 1st, 2023. And then uh, today, which is uh, July 6th, 2023, you seek to reapply. My friend, not a lot of time has passed. Okay, you have to allow at least, let's say you've been banned for five years, I'll suggest you allow at least two years to pass, okay, before you seek to reapply. Um, that's really my suggestion, okay? Number two, more character of the applicant. You've been removed, and let's say you uh, you were charged for something on something, or maybe something went wrong, misrepresentation on your case, and something along those lines. So now they're gonna seek and see more whole character of the applicant. What has changed? Um, some I'm gonna lay out some points, right? Uh, the way they're gonna evaluate more whole. Uh, character. Remember, we have talked about moral character for very um, a lot, a lot, a lot on this channel because it's so important that you be a person of good moral character. Because the weight of good moral and character in all applications it has a lot of weight. Um, the way they're gonna proceed with this type of application, um, number one, they're gonna look at the respect respect for law and order did you misrepresent the fact did you work without authorization while you were in the united states what exactly did you do okay number two they're gonna look at the pattern of misconduct let's say you did the misrepresentation one time that's good right uh, not bad that bad but if they look at the pattern it's like every time they ask you a question you misrepresent facts then they see the pattern Okay, then if there's a really a long, a lot, a pattern of misrepresentation, then that becomes really bad on your case. And they, we're gonna, they're gonna see if we can, you can articulate remorse and personal responsibility. What have you done to take personal responsibility of your actions? Have you tried to rehabilitate yourself? Have you tried to do something to overcome bad moral and character? For example, have you done community service since you left? What exactly have you done to actually uh, make yourself again a good member of society? Basically, that's what they're looking at, okay? Number three, they're gonna look at hardship to you, the applicant, and to others. And this example is very, uh, this point, I can give you a very specific example. Let's say you got removed from the country and you left behind uh, your children. Uh, let's say it was a divorce, in a divorce uh, proceedings too, but you left behind your children. So is you missing in the life of your children, creating hardship on your children and on yourself? They're gonna look at all those things. And then lastly, the need for applicant services in the US. Are you really valuable in the US? Well, how do you prove that? What type of job were you working when you left? Let's say somebody was a nurse, right? And they got removed and they serve, especially during COVID-19. 
So th this person will have a lot of chance to tell, listen, even when I was uh, in the US, I was a nurse, I have a license, and I served during COVID-19. I put my life at risk for other people. And time, this is the most important one, right? Time has lapsed, okay? Two years has passed. Can you give me permission to be applied? So those are the things that they are going to look at when you're trying to actually file for this form. My friend, if you're trying to file for this form on your own, most of the time you will miss it because guess what? At least 85% of time, okay? 85% of cases get denied, okay? Because they don't follow all those four points. They don't follow the standard that have been laid to us in the matter of T, Tin and Lee. So they don't follow it. They just try to reapply because they really just want to come back here. I had a consultation with one of my uh, potential clients yesterday trying to explain to him uh, and uh, trying to see, well, do we have additional evidence? Do we, can we do that? At the end, we couldn't apply because I look at the points that are laid out to us by mother of Tin and Lee. He needs more time. He needs at least one more year uh, so we can rehabilitate him and try to present his case in the best light possible. So if you need a consultation with me, uh, my friend, consultation link is in the description box below, right? Click the consultation link in the description box below and schedule your consultation fees 175 for now. This fee is going to go up on December 31st, 31st, 2023, this year. So for the rest of this year, we're going with this, the same fees. Schedule a consultation uh, with me. If you're overseas, especially, you have to schedule a consultation because we're going to go to Zoom meeting or we're going to go to a uh, WhatsApp phone call. But you have to schedule a consultation first, right, by using the link in the description box. Okay, that was U.S. immigration, uh, immigration on demand. This is the most difficult a form to apply you need counsel uh, if you do have you do not have one my friend you better off uh, calling 202 751 2180 consultation fees apply um, as usual and don't forget to comment below subscribe share until next time bye bye